Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about spinal tumors. First, I will show you the normal MRI scan of the sagittal V of the spine. So these are the vertebral bodies. This is the CSF. This is corda equina. And these are the discs. Moving on to the axial view. This is the vertebral body. You have the subarachnoid space and you have the spinal cord. In T1, the CSF is black or hypo intense, and in T2, the CSF is white or hyper intense. This is the normal CT of the cervical spine. You can see that the Spinal cord is the same, it's homogeneous with the rest of the tissues. So this is how you can identify. A bit about spinal tumors, general information. So they're the most common site for bone metastases. The cause is unknown, but it is related to neurofibromatosis type 2 and also von Hippel-Lindau disease, which is multiple hemangioblastomas. There are three different types of spinal tumors according to location. So we will start with the intramedullary spinal tumors, which means they are inside the spinal cord. This is an example of intramedullary spinal tumor. The next ones are extramedullary. There can be two. There is intradural extramedullary which means it is in the epidural space. Here is an example of an intradural extramedullary spinal tumor, the sagittal view and the axial view. Here is another example with the T1, T2 and T1 plus contrast. And there is extra dural extra medullary which is outside the dural space outside the meninges here is an example of extra dural extra medullary spinal tumor for symptoms you can have back ache if there is compression on the spinal cord or the nerve roots paralysis you can have loss of bowel and bladder control etc we will start with the tumors that I've already discussed in my previous video. So starting with meningioma, it is the most common spinal cord tumor. Here you can see an extra medullary meningioma. Next is astrocytoma. It is also very common. Here you can see an intramedullary invasive astrocytoma, quite diffuse. Hemangioma, more common in women, and it is asymptomatic, usually presents in the thoracic or the lumbar levels, and you can see it in the spine. And then ependymoma from the CSF, producing cells. Here you can see an intradural extramedullary ependymoma. Now on to some new tumors, the four O's. You can remember osteoid osteoma, osteoblastoma, osteochondroma, and osteosarcoma. Starting with osteoid osteoma, it is the most common tumor, and it usually resolves with medications. Surgery is not really performed. Here you can see, this is a CT. Then you have osteoblastoma, which is a larger form of osteoid osteoma, and it is more aggressive, so it can require surgery. Osteochondroma is tumor of the cartilage. Here you can see a sagittal and an axial view. And osteosarcoma is common in males. It is a malignant tumor, very aggressive. Radiation is ineffective. 
all of these tumors, the four O's, they occur in younger individuals. But older people with Paget's disease can also develop sarcoma. For surgical treatment, you can have a posterior approach or an anterior approach where you have to remove the vertebral bodies. You can either do decompression, where there is a compression on a nerve root or the spinal cord. You can do excision and fixation to stabilize the spine. Alright guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.